In this recording, I'm going to show you how to get started with Pluggerman and AMF PHP. I've already uh, installed a basic AMF PHP installation on my server. There isn't anything different than the default installation. I've unzipped the AMF PHP folder and placed it in this example folder, which is in my uh, HTML folder on my server. Uh, I've placed these two AMF PH, uh, these two PHP 5 classes that have very simple methods inside of them. One of them returns a string and the second method returns an array of items. Uh, there is a second class that similarly has only two methods inside of it and it's basically to show how Pluggerman will display the multiple classes and multiple methods that you have in your API, in your AMF PHP installation. Once you have your AMF PHP installed and your server and your uh, AMF PHP class is ready, with Pluggerman you can open and create a new bookmark. And I'm going to select AMF PHP, give it a title and a description. In the URL field, it, uh, it's, it needs the URL to the gateway. And the rest of the settings are for strong typing, uh, which Pluggerman supports, and I will show in a different video. You click the Save button, and this bookmark is saved. Once you have the bookmark, you can click Connect and AMF PHP will connect with your server and it will uh, it will figure out what classes you have on there so in the class selector you can see the two classes that I have placed in my server and if you select one of these classes you can then see the functions that are inside of this class once you select a function you can use the invoke service button and that will let you unit test this particular service call you can see on the right side in the output panel it gives you um, detailed information in a data grid about the return the return to data. You can also see that same data in the pretty print output console at the bottom of the screen, which can be hidden away or that you can bring back with the console button in the menu. For those long returns, you can also increase the size of the console or decrease the size of the console. With methods that return more complex objects, the data grid will let you navigate through these just like you would in a application such as Charles. And again, in the bottom, you can see the pretty print and see uh, just like you would trace with object util and flex uh, the returns the data returned and all of its uh, children and stuff so that's uh, debugging with Pluggerman and AMF PHP